currently this one's getting filled up it's like probably like halfway I empty them out uh, they're all just trash bins for recyclables and stuff like that drip irrigation holes I still haven't put it to use this is all rainwater all right here it's about 225 gallons and I have 13 fishies in here actually I have 13 fishies that I got for free Yet again, I'm still doing my credit list, my offer up, and my Lego now. You know, I'm doing Lego now. Since I found out about it, I was told about it. Hey, you, should, you like getting free stuff? Check out Lego. I'm like, all right. So now I'm getting them from those three spots. Craigslist, offer up, and Lego. Right, my peeps? And remember, I got all of this for free. I got this for free. Got all of this for free, the drip irrigation. I paid the, for these 13 bucks, but I got a deal for them though. And I'll go resell them and make some my money back and a little bit of profit. Remember, I got all of this for free. Got all those trash cans for free. Yeah, the wood, I got that for free. The little fencing, I got it for free. Oh yeah, so let me show you my peeps. So these are the volunteers that we got. The peach trees, right? On the backyard. Look, we got this one got this one this one's beautiful I like the structure of it right um, so that's two right and then there's this one that's three but this is it all right and then there's some more right here look then there's four healthy beautiful and then there's this one too right here there's five look but it's getting and it's getting choked out by the coils of the squash. Look, you see it? It's getting coiled up, wrapped around. See, it's choking it out and submitting it. Look, it's kind of like ah. Doesn't want to let go. So I gotta undo that. That's not way no. But yeah, so this is all volunteers, my peeps. And I gotta put some soil. The, the roots are being exposed. Not good. Ooh, that's dooky. Ooh, not cool. Alright, yeah, just, just cover it up. See, the soil is moist, you see? It's nice and moist. Alright, yeah. So, yeah, we got water in here, we got fishes in here. I gotta feed them in a bit. Got the algae going on. Yeah, it's all free rainwater. And I'm gonna use it to feed the garden. But yeah. So, got a whole bunch of volunteers. All right, hold on, my peeps. I gotta use the restroom. All right, my peeps. So, let's continue. So, I still got my free wood that I got from, I guess, Craigslist. Yeah, it was Craigslist. And, yeah, I've been using some of it. And, yes, I completed the chicken coop. 90% it still needs the little final final uh, finishes but for the most part it's about 90% done I'm gonna disassemble it paint it all up and then reassemble it and you guys are gonna get to see all that for sure for sure and then uh, I'm gonna get some nice hens some nice chickens from my mom and my dad yeah so they can at least eat organic and I could keep making fertilizer or organic soil amendments you know but yeah my peeps so got good wood to build frames uh, support stakes just different things you know um, but the chicken coop is complete man for the most part uh, my brother went ahead and he transplanted this papaya so it's here my mom went ahead and she planted this uh, I guess it's a pumpkin or squash I'm not sure what she did um, this is uh, just a matter of time. I have to go ahead and transplant both of these papayas. 
you know, so they could really uh, create a big world system and just establish themselves. But yeah, but yeah, look at the chicken coop. My peeps, it's pretty much done. Just gotta do the final touches and get the chickens and bada bing bada boom. And it was literally a hundred percent for free, man. I did not buy anything. Not one penny went into this, man. The gas, everything, all the material, I got it for free, man. Got it for free. The design, this is my design. As uh, you know. I just made it if I was a chicken. I know it's not natural, but at least if I was kept in captivity, how would I feel at least comfortable, you know, feel cool about it. So that's what I did, man. Yeah, my mom planted some of this corn and yeah, the nasturtium is just taking off. Just this huge patch. And then we got the chayote vine finally it's wrapping up, it's taking off, it's going everywhere. Got the chili, we got the cactus. My mom just cut harvest some last yesterday, yeah. She came and she cut some pads. And, uh, she made herself a uh, yeah, dinner. Uh, the orange tree took off this year. Uh, it flowered really well, uh, but it dropped all of its roots since it's very small and it can't support the weight. So I guess it didn't bother this year. It's, it's, it's new, you know. Uh, we still got a few pineapples, uh, some recyclables, the tarp, the greenhouse is empty, got nothing going on. Yeah, my mom planted these corns and this, uh, I don't know if it's a squash, it's a pumpkin, I don't know, I gotta ask her. But yeah, so this is my mom right here, she went ahead and she planted the corn. Um... This is full, 55 gallons. Uh, my bro my brother, my mom transplanted this one to this one. I got this for free. Uh, peach tree, peach tree, and then some type of squash or pumpkin vine is coming from here. My mom planted this one. And look, the pineapples, they're doing good. Uh, we got this one going, even though they're shaded. They're doing good. They need sun though. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cut this back a little bit, you know, because this is edible. This is completely edible, but it just pops out, man. We got more than enough, honestly. So I'm gonna cut this back and let this receive some of this beautiful sunlight, right? But this is cool. I mean, you want a shady? This will put put a little chair, shady spot, chill, get the breeze. But yeah, my peeps, so the pineapples, look, look the pineapples, they're taking off. Yeah, there's all this dead organic matter. Look how beautiful they are. Look at that one. Yeah. So yeah, the pineapples are t really taking off. Look, they're huge. Look at this one right here. Yeah, they're, they're already established. So these are, these are for sure going to give. But it takes about a year and a half or two years, depending on the climate and the soil and everything, you know, the environmental aspects of the growing, you know. So, yeah, my peeps, so look, we got pineapples. But, yeah, and we got the biochar right here. Got to inoculate it, you know, get it going. It's, it's for the rain gutters, rain gutter attachment parts. We got some paint for the chicken coop. But yeah, look, my peeps. Um, more paint for the chicken coop. What else? But yeah, so I'm definitely gonna do the chicken coop thingy. But yeah, that's what's going on. And then all of these are full. All of these. They're completely full. Full of rainwater. Completely full of rainwater. Look, we still got some rainwater right here. Little water. Precious resource. Got my biochar right here. And that's recyclables. That's it. Still got to get rid of my old transportation when I was in 
college, the last year of college, backpack got too heavy, full of books, and then carrying all the tools. Yeah. But yeah, my peeps, so got the, we're going to get the aquaponics going system. I finally got the fishies, got, finally got the rainwater. We're going to get this cracking, probably get some bunnies too. So I could get some of that rabbit manure and, you know, feed all of the, the fruit trees and everything. And I'm still going to go get some more uh, wood chips and compost and add another layer. But yep. This is the backyard. There you go, my peeps. Freedom Gardens. We got rainwater. We got some stuff going on. Let's finish the tour, right? Oh, still got my raised bed gardens here. The fabric ones, yeah, the big ones. Still got them in here. Let's see. All right, my peeps. Let's go down this way. Still got my biochar machine. And, uh, passion fruit. <clears throat> Excuse me, passion fruit vine is like, whoa, it's everywhere. Guava tree, super huge, super tall. It's taller than my second floor. Yeah. So look, like I said, my peeps, look, just, we got olive oil all the way down. And then we just got this beautiful vine. And then we got fruits already. These things loaded with fruits, loaded with flowers. Look, look. This is this is. If you guys want to know what is my favorite flower in the world, this is it. This is a flower right here. I love it. It looks like it's not from this planet, man. But yeah, it looks so beautiful. I love it. I love it. But yes, this is Champ Pack. Champ Pack. It's got olive oils for days. Bruise, cuts, burns, scrapes. You got it. Get some olive oil. But my piece, this is beautiful. I love my passion for buying. And yet again, C90. This is the main. This is the main one. This was coming. There's two of them. Those. There's this one. Right. Look how thick it is. Right. Reference. Uh. There's this one. There's this one. Uh, right. Let's see. No. And then, this is a pomegranate right here. Gonna remove this one here. It's not a good spot for it, but it's a volunteer pomegranate. Guayaba volunteer. Gotta remove these because it's not a good spot for them, you know? Look where it grew. Yeah, so. Look, a volunteer chili right here. And then the, th the third vine, check it out, my peeps, right here, right, going up, one, two, three, and then you got this one, Mary needs to take this one home, I told her she needs to get, be careful, you don't want to mess up this root system, but just remove it, look. It's perfect and she could just take it to her house and and they, they take I'm gonna do it for her cuz yeah Mary is she need, she'd be getting lazy man sometimes with this but yeah so oh sorry so yeah so look this is how tall it is not you know about two feet three no more than three feet but yeah so this is ready to get 
put somewhere where it could just take off, you know. And look, another volunteer peach tree. So I'm telling you my peas. So that's one, two, three, four little one. But the, another big one is here, then another big one, and then another one here. So look, oh, this is another one that needs to get transplanted too, because it's not that big. But they, they, nah, just gotta let this one grow out. Grow out, grow out out of here, and I take off. Take off, please. But yeah, so look, all the vines. My peeps. And look, you guys can see the fruits. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. What you know about this, man? And Mary loves these, man. Mary loves these. And I know I gave a whole bunch of seed pods to Angie from Happy Healthy Vegan. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing the dad, I'm wearing the shirt as we speak. So, <clears throat> so my peeps, I hope she, she planted them and they're like doing what they gotta do. But yeah, so my brother is guiding this one up there. And we're gonna put a trellis here, a net trellis, nylon net trellis, and so it could like, whatever it wants to bind up, you see like these two right here, they're going up, and there's some that are like going that direction. We want those to uh, support themselves with the trellis. But yeah, so we're gonna add the trellis. Yeah, but we got a bunch of fruit. Look at these beautiful flowers. Right? Look, look, look. All of those flowers are gonna become that beautiful fruit. Yeah, we got some volunteer tomatoes, got some peppers, more chile, and we got the, we're still rocking that boogie brew, my water filter, and I still have the, not my second one here. This, you see, boogie brew. They got the magnets to restructure the water and to magnify it. Yeah, we just got this banana. That's it. From all the bananas that were here. This is this one, but look, it just has so many fruits. It's passion fruit heaven. But it's all the way down almost. It just I hope it just continues and it's binding up too. Look, it's going up. The banana, it's going up the waje, it's going up to the roof. Yeah. So there you go, my peeps. More oliveros. And that is the end of the tour, my peeps. So I hope you guys like that. That's what we got going on.